Hey guys, today me and Matt are going to be looking at this because I keep getting questions about it and honestly, I want to do an all-around video showing the good stuff about it, all, you know, what all you can do, all the functionalities of it, my favorite thing and Matt's favorite thing about it, and what you can and can't do with it. You can't hook it up to anything before 1996. After 1996, they created an OBD2 port and every vehicle manufacturer was mandated on that. That's the only downside to this. So if you got something 96 before 96, it won't work on it. But 96 and after, it will work on it. All right, guys, so this is setup of the fixed scanner. Only thing you gotta do, go to your app store, your play store, whatever you've got, F-I-X-D, and you're gonna hit download. Simple as that. All you do is you hit tap to scan. Already got a scanner. Hold it up in front of it. It's as simple as this. Boom. Plug your scanner in. Hit scanner is plugged in. Tap to set up. My car, we're going to put mint. And then we're just going to hit scan. I've had people ask questions like, does it work on iPhone? I've used it on iPhone 6, 7, 11, and 12. All right, looks like we got an O2 sensor code. Read that. Okay, if we don't want that, we'll go down here to below and hit clear engine light. And as you can see, the engine light is gone. All right, now I'm gonna show you some other features on it. Yes, you've got your scanner, but you've also got this right here. You type in the mileage of the vehicle, and like say you wanna set how often you wanna change your oil, and it'll send you notifications when it's time to change your oil. Same thing with the battery, windshield wipers, and tires. And it's also got this part. You take and you measure your tires with a penny and put the mileage and stuff, and it'll tell you if you've got excessive wear or anything on your tires, which is pretty cool. You go over to history. If you pay for the premium, you can actually look up the history reports like uh, Kelly Blue Book or uh, Carfax or something. It's like basically the same thing as that. Over here, you've got your live data and you've got all your live data. Up the top left, we've got miles per hour. Top right, we got engine RPM. Bottom left, we got calculated engine load. And then we got the O2 sensor voltage. If you was to click one of them, like say I was to want to change the engine load, all I'd have to do is go through here. Everything that's highlighted in white works for this vehicle. The newer the vehicle, the more options you're going to have. But honestly, this is a really cool one. Like throttle position. All I'd hit is that and then hit add. And there we go. Throttle position 9.8%. Now, if I hit the gas, you can see the engine RPMs go up and the throttle position to go up. Next up, we got this right here, which I thought was really cool. So, say you don't know what a certain engine light is. So, say you didn't know what traction control was. You click it and it tells you everything you know about everything it needs, you need to know about that light there's a lot of cool ones on here they got glow plug they got power steering it's you know it's kind of cool next up we got the zero to 60 meter later on in the video me and matt's going to show you some zero to 60s but basically all you do is you hit start and as soon as your tires move it starts and as soon as you hit 60 it stops so it's all automated so all you have to do is hit go lay your phone on your dash and it's ready to go Next up, we got trip mode. I've actually never used this, but honestly, I thought it was pretty cool. You got GPS, it tells you the mileage, tells you um, if you've got it connected for your fuel sensor, it'll tell you how much gas you've got, what date it is, north, south, east, or west. Honestly, it's really cool. I like that one a lot. I haven't got to use it yet, but me and Matt's probably going to be using that soon. And I don't even know what fighter jet is. Oh, we're getting fancy up in here. Okay, I don't know what that is. I'm actually going to have to figure out what that is myself. But yeah, 
Uh, we're going to cut to some clips of me and Matt doing some zero to sixties with this thing and just a few other things that we liked about it. Guys, I hope you all enjoyed and enjoy these next few clips. Go. Take a screenshot of that. We got 9.34 on the first pull. Come on, slow ho. 8.77. Yes, I knew it. All right, we did the zero to 60 in the Tahoe. Now it's crap box time, boys. We're going to see if we can get a zero to 60 in this. Matt, what do you think it's going to be? 13 and a half. Optimistic. I think it's optimistic. That's optimistic. I want to say 14. All right. Hopefully. So, guys, let's get down there and do a 0 to 60 on this bad boy. Ready when you are. Wow. Two thousand years later. 45.50. Fourteen point eight nine. Lord. There must be a pill right there. It is a little bit. That's no cooking. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to say it. Get on gas. Ready on your mark. Two, two. That's not that bad. 13.22 in a 